today we are going to be testing out the two biggest pastas in the world right now namely the uni feta pasta from finland as well as Gigi Hadid's spicy vodka pasta. So to start off the whole cooking process, we started with our pasta because that takes the longest to cook. We got the bow tie pasta and when opening it, obviously my sister made a huge mess and made this extremely funny face that I just had to let the internet see. And while that was cooking, we started with the uni feta pasta. We got a baking tray out, drizzled some olive oil. We put in two punnets of cherry tomatoes and with clean hands ended up just making sure all of the tomatoes were evenly distributed with the olive oil. I then put two rounds of feta in, added chili flakes, Italian herbs, Himalayan salt which is less in sodium and just better for your health in general and obviously black pasta. I mean black pepper. Then we went to go put in our beautiful dish of pasta into the oven but our utensils were in so while that was in the oven we went and we went to our herb garden and I took out some sprigs of basil. Unfortunately our plants aren't doing that great just because Joburg's been having a lot of rain lately but I ended up just snacking on Lay's while it was busy cooking and I know that I'm definitely not the only one who snacks and stuff while she's cooking and somehow that lace chips reminded me of garlic and I remember that I forgot to put garlic into my pasta so I quickly just put it in here. I then took out my oven tray and immediately started to break away my feta. However, I left it in for a little bit longer just to get a crispy top and it became a little bit harder so I ended up adding some basil Danish feta from the Mediterranean brand and just putting that in to give it more of a creamy texture as well as pursing the cherry tomatoes to let out some juice to again make it just a bit more creamy and easier to make into a sauce. I then just added in however much pasta I wanted to to make sure that the pasta still isn't dry but that there was enough pasta for everyone and I just garnished with the fresh basil as well as some of the Danish feta and it's now like nearly a day later after I made this and my mouth is still watering from this pasta. Okay, so we're going to be trying the first pasta of the night. I'm joined by my sister Sajo and my cousin Shannon. I think you guys would have seen them in the hot noodles challenge. So this is just the feta and tomato pasta which made Finland run out of what? Feta or olive? I mean tomato. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they ran out of feta, so we're gonna mm. just try this one. Okay, let's go. Mm. It tastes like kind of rotis. This is the best compliment you've given me in my entire life. Mm. Mm. I can't believe this is only like two main, well, three main ingredients. And then like spices or whatever you wanted to put in. The feta is so nice because it's crispy and burnt on the outside. Okay, so what would you guys give it out of a 10? A good eight. Eight. You, Shan? I'd rate like yeah. eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine. Only yeah. because I can't have the tomatoes. That's right. I would give this also like an eight and a half, nine. I think if like olives or something was in here, mm. it would be like just perfect. I With think an it, extra drizzle of olive oil. Mm. I honestly thought that this was too overrated, if I'm being honest, because like how can three or four ingredients like make a pasta break the internet? I can understand why. I think people are just boozled <laughs> or whatever the word is that this is made from like three or four ingredients. So we'll see you when we are making Gigi Hadid's vodka pasta. Without the vodka. On to our third pasta for the night. We began by just chopping up shallots and some garlic and obviously that made my sister cry quite a lot and so she said let me put it in your camera and we just ended up sauteing that for about four to five maybe even six minutes until both the garlic and the shallots became really brown and caramelized just to get extra flavor into the oil before putting in three quarters of a cup of tomato paste and half a can of full cream milk we then just stirred everything up to give this rich red color and we added in the himalayan salt my sister got cream on her elbow, we put in some black pepper, some paprika, as well as some chili flakes. Obviously you can monitor that how much of spiciness you like, we like it obviously spicy. And we just gave that a good stir before adding in 
a good amount of pasta to still make the pasta quite saucy but again enough for the entire family to eat. It's a bit later now so my cousin has work in the morning so she couldn't stay for the second tasting but my sister made her Gigi Hadid vodka and no vodka pasta. She added a bit more cream and parmesan to hers. I'm not a dairy person so I didn't add any parmesan and I didn't add any extra cream. Mm. Mm. It's very nice. The flavor really hits you like after you swallow it. You get like some sweetness, some sourness, then you like swallow it and you really get the onion and garlic. And as you know, we double yeah, the garlic. If Food Network is looking for any presenter, <laughs> no judge, it's vital. <laughs> I do like it, but I think. Like I've tasted a lot of pastas that taste like this, if you know what I mean. Like it tastes amazing, don't worry. Like if I had to make this on like any day, I would feel very happy. For me personally, I just feel like it's not anything new. What do you say? I haven't tasted anything like this, but then again, you've been to fancy restaurants than I have. Okay, I'm gonna finish too, and then you're gonna reset <laughs> everything. What is it? Because what I heard. <laughs> I've never had something <laughs> like this. But then again, Kira's been to much more fancier restaurants than I have. Can't help but feel that something's missing from me. I'm vegetarian. This is the first time you're watching anything on my channel. So I personally would add like vegetable or if you eat meat, I feel then it would need meat or chicken or vegan chicken. I just feel that it needs something else to kind of push it off the edge. I feel that the basic tomato and feta won the challenge. Sajil obviously thinks the Gigi Hadid pasta won the challenge. But I'm going to see what my parents and my cousin kind of rate it and then we'll give an overall thing. Thank you guys so 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 much for watching and for also just enjoying these cooking videos. Please definitely try out these recipes and let me know how you like them or even if you did like a <laughs> if you did a face off between the two pastas. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a lovely week ahead full with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity, and amazing tasty pastas. Love you guys. Bye.